And old food fans going to have pizza again for lunch. And this is uh, kind of a small pizza. It's under 16 ounces. This is Mama Cozy's. And I like what they have written on the package. This is original. And it's a new recipe. How they do that, I'm not really certain. We will also have a secret salad and a secret dessert. So let's get started. And it is fresh out of the oven. The pizza is 14.9 ounces. So it's a small pizza compared to uh, the one I had uh, over the weekend. It was about 32 ounces. And I'm going to slice this with my knife. Can't find my pizza cutter right now. And the pizza is a thin crust, which is not my favorite. But it's low price. Three, I think it's three dollars and fifty-nine cents. And this is about the right size pizza for a hungry person to have uh, uh, a big lunch. But at the same time, it's not uh, going to be too big. Now, let me slice this way. Hope all's going well for you there. We've got uh, summertime weather here in February. It's very nice outside and it's supposed to get up into the 80s in February. Not today, but uh, I think uh, tomorrow it's in the high 70s and then Thursday it's in the 80s. So that should be nice. Put this over here. And I'll have a root beer, a sip of root beer. This uh, is the root beer from Kroger. The pizza came from uh, Aldi's. And I'm going to have a secret salad before we begin with the pizza. This is a Kroger coleslaw to which I have added extra tomatoes and carrots and I'll just stir it up there nicely and uh, a lot of vegetables there the pizza has some meat on it so it will have some protein here's the coleslaw with uh, added carrot and tomato Quite good. Quite good. Mm hmm. Now, what I'll do is just pick up the pizza. It's not real hot. It's, uh, it's the right temperature for eating. And this is Mama Cozy's original new recipe. Sausage pizza. Mm. It has a good tomato sauce. There's plenty of sausage on there. And a good coating of cheese, not a gigantic coating of cheese. Talk a little bit about uh, Paramount, where I worked on Dear John from 1988 to 1992. Paramount Studios has a lot of history. They did a lot of the uh, three camera shows. They're actually four camera shows, but they call them three camera shows. Then Desi Lu started out at what is now Paramount. It was then called RKO. I think um, Lucille Ball bought RKO Studios. And that's 
now more or less the back lot of Paramount. This is not too bad. I hope you're enjoying your lunch. 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 I hope you're enjoying your all is going well for me. I've been very fortunate for many years. Paramount is where I worked at on shows like Winds of War. I worked Winds of War on the lot and at locations around town when they would do a, something at a dinner club or whatever. I did a dancing scene, just a bunch of people dancing uh, while Robert Mitchum is talking to some people at a table and occasionally you see me in the background. But Winds of War also filmed at Paramount. And Winds of War is a huge epic. It's about seven days of two hours per day, probably about 14 hour long story of uh, the early signs of World War II. And, and now that we're getting into a situation in, in the world today where people are talking about uh, what comes after World War II. It was always fun working with Robert Mitchum. Other shows that worked at Paramount, I worked Best Defense at Paramount. I worked Happy Days, the three camera Happy Days show with Ron. I, I didn't work with Ron Howard, I worked with Henry Winkler and Scott Bayo and other cast members and had a lot of fun, especially when I was Abe Lincoln on Happy Days. And thanks to the 425,000 subscribers, I'm amazed at how the number keeps growing. Other shows I worked at uh, Paramount include Mork and Mindy. I enjoyed working with Robin Williams, Pam Dauber, and especially Jonathan Winters. There was an explosion of some kind, I don't know what that was. Time for some more root beer. A piece, a piece of pizza. And Paramount is the studio that would be closest to Hollywood of all the big studios. And the neighborhood around Paramount, even back in the 1980s, was not a safe place to park your car outside the lot and walk away from it. This would probably be a, the right size pizza, under one pound total. For anyone who wants a nice size lunch, it's not too big, not too small. The taste is good. I would prefer the stuffed crust or the uh, rising crust.
but this is all right. One of the places on the internet where you can get some old movies, and some of them are silent, and other old movies are black and white, at the uh, Internet Archive, just search Internet Archive, and then go to the video section. They also have uh, some old-time radio programs. YouTube has a lot of free movies to watch, old ones especially. They have the shorts, short videos. I might do something with a vertical format here eventually. I'm not in a big rush. Other busy studios in Southern California, MGM, 20th Century Fox. I don't know if they still call it 20th Century or if they've changed to 21st Century. I think it's in Century City. And Universal's in Universal City. My third strike, my third slice. I have a sip of root beer. When I worked on Happy Days as Abe Lincoln, Frankie Avalon was the guest. And Frankie was nice. For lunchtime, the day that we filmed, two friends of Frankie's came to the set and took him to lunch. And the two friends, Renette Funicello and James Darren. James Darren had a couple of uh, big hit records, believe it or not. done shows with Tommy Sands. And there was a girl singer named Molly B. She passed away a few years back. And she had a couple of hit records and she used to sing on the Tennessee Ernie Ford show. So I saw her in person and I saw Tennessee Ernie Ford. Tennessee Ernie Ford had a huge hit record one time with 16 tons. You can hear that at YouTube. If you're a songwriter, write about things that you know about that would surprise other people. That's what Merle Travis did when he wrote 16 Tons. I also got to see Nat King Cole in person doing his TV show back in the 1950s. Before he had a TV show, Nat King Cole had a few hit records early in his career. And he had been working as a piano bar performer on Hollywood Boulevard. And he's considered to have the biggest success, biggest sales success for. Christmas songs with the Christmas song, Nat King Cole, year after year. If you have talent as a singer, that might help you get into movies if that is uh, a goal of yours. A 
lot of famous singers had movie careers. Same with dancers. Pizza is good. If you want to see a good dance number, I think the movie title is Royal Wedding. Fred Astaire dances on the ceiling. He's in a room, he jumps from the floor to the wall, dances horizontally, and gets up to the ceiling, dances upside down. And it's public domain, the movie is public domain, so you can watch it at YouTube. I'm pretty sure it's Royal Wedding. Just search for Fred Astaire, Ceiling, C E I L I N G, Ceiling Dance. Royal Wedding. <clears throat> I will try to get another food video up before the weekend or by the weekend. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, see what happens. Do you like the new cars or the old cars? And by old, I guess that's relative to how old you are as to what cars you think are old. For me, an old car in the 1940s, 1950s. This is the last slice of pizza. Have a little bit of uh, coleslaw. Coleslaw is definitely one of my favorite foods. <clears throat> and remember, we got a secret dessert. If you work as an extra in Hollywood, you get to see all the attractions in Southern California, whether it's uh, Griffith Park, downtown Los Angeles with uh, the Bradbury Building, the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. and various other parts of uh, the city and the county. I worked as far north as Lake Piru. That was on the movie with Sylvester Stallone and Dolly Parton. I think it was called Rhinestone.
if you want to be a good stage actor, locate yourself as close as possible to New York City. If you want to be a movie star, head for Hollywood. I like Hollywood, but I don't want to be there when the big earthquakes get started. This meal with the coleslaw, the dessert, the pizza, the cola comes in at about five dollars. In addition to getting into Hollywood, making movies and coming from being a dancer or singer, the other field of potential movie star entry uh, ease would be sports. If you're good at a certain sport, especially if you make a name for yourself, you could probably translate that into an acting career. First signs of uh, things growing in my garden, the peach tree has some buds and some leaves on it. I got this warm weather coming up. Maybe three more bites here. There's a lot of sausage on the pizza. First pizza I ever had as a kid was sausage pizza, and it was good. Last bite. And now for the secret dessert, we have blueberry yogurt. Blueberry yogurt, the last time I bought this, right before the inflation started, this was 32 cents. Today it was 65 cents. So it's more than doubled. But it is good. <clears throat> blueberry yogurt. This came from Aldi's, by the way. I would guess this has a lot of nutritional value, but I'm not certain. Hope you're enjoying your meal and your dessert, your conversation. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for watching.